Hey guys, we're back on the Red Cubed, and I'm here today with Brian. Hello! A.K.A. Lorgon, A.K.A. Brian. Who's on the server for once, oh my gosh. Yep, who's actually on the server, and we're going to do a little bit of a tour around spawn, and then I hear he has a job for me. I do. I, I need a... I like to do science experiments in Minecraft, and I thought of an experiment that would be much easier to do in multiplayer, and so I need an assistant, Ooh. and I hear that you just love Enderman. <laughs> And it involves Endermen, and so I couldn't oh, no. think of anything, anyone better oh, trying no. to do some science with. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. That sounds good. Um, but I don't know how much has changed since the last time you were at Spawn. Uh, probably a lot. Uh, there's a few, like, taller towers. There's, like, some kind of crazy radio tower or something, like, going up into the sky over there that I don't recognize. Yep. And this thing that we were just chatting about off camera beforehand, I guess there's a trading post. You want to yes. explain that to me? Yes, this is the trading post. And basically you just come in, you pick whatever color you want, and then you put your name down and you can put at the top, you can put what you're offering for trade. And at the bottom, you can put what you want in return. And then that way, uh, instead uh, of just uh, dropping uh. things in a chest, you know, people can come in and be like, hmm, I need iron. Uh, I want this. And then you can just set up a bunch of trades with people. That's clever. I yeah. like that. It's a little bit lag causing, but <laughs> it's really <laughs> it's really fun, though. I think it's fun. I've done a bunch of trades through this. so I see. Speaking of, uh, I probably in the intro to my video was just showing off, speaking of lag as well, uh, we had like a little chicken farm, Vaughn and I, in our initial house. And we had like over 200 chickens in there. Mm -hmm. And I was getting poor FPS. And so I used a splash potion Ooh. to kill all the chickens. And I heard you needed some feathers, and so I happened to get those, and we have like another double chest full of them. Awesome! So, so we can we can we'll, we'll peek in my house, and you can see what there is in there okay. that you that you need. Perhaps there will be something. Hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, other than that, around spawn, a lot of the structures seem mostly the same. A few are a little bit more finished. So if yeah. we want to head over, and I think your house is like somewhere in this direction, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's over by the radio tower thing. Okay. Actually, so so we can walk over there and. Yeah, uh, it's. The trees are temporary. I'm just farming lots and lots and lots of logs. Mm -hmm. So I grow gigantic trees in my yard. This is actually, what is this? Yeah, it was the ye old first house of spawn version three. I see. It just keeps growing and growing. Yeah. Uh, okay. I so, walked up the side of this and saw like some of these other weird blocks that were on it. And apparently yeah. it just like. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it's like a temporary art kind of like, you know, a. Uh, historical yeah historical kind of art installation right but yeah this is my house it's also still in progress but i see giant you're, you're very one with the land here. i'm i'm very one with the land actually none of the interior is actually uh furnished we mostly just go down into my cave here but that's often how i live as well <laughs> i'm like furnishing i don't know about that uh oh i see i missed the entrance to the cave for a moment sorry where, where did you go? Oh. I just went down to like take a peek into the cave. Do you go to the other cave? Oh, oh I guess so. Cave. Oh, there we yeah, go. here we go. This is, yeah. This, <laughs> this is cave. Better. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I have some in the trade goods and the more trade goods. I don't know if there's something you'd want to grab for the feathers or if there's something else in specific you're looking for that's in a different chest. I don't know. Actually, I could use some arrows. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, let's see. I gave you a couple stacks of feathers. May mm -hmm. I take a stack of arrows, please? Heck yeah, you can. All right. That is great. Because that is something that I have never gathered other than just kind of crafting based on whatever flints I had. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, and I've got like my little fishing area here. I can turn off the waterfall and fish out the back and ah. got a little bit of a waterfall coming down here. Neat. And it's a secret escape. It's a, I have like five different secret ways to escape my house, but yeah, I think most of the most of the construction's actually been in the, the business district, with the new shops. I see. Yeah, so we'll have to go back up around here. All right. It's no good way from here, but. Just over here. And I think yeah, I think uh, like Cherry Cherry's fish and chip shop is done now, um, but that's over by her house. And then the rest of the shops are over here. This right. way. Yeah, I think Cherry's, I don't remember if she actually had the shop up, but like she had definitely already done the fishing and we're doing some fishing oh, trades. Oh, okay. Uh, back when I was last on the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So her fish and chip shop is over by her house, if you want to right. see that. And then there's okay. the rest of the shops are all down this street, pretty much. I see. And so I already saw, this is, I guess, your um, <laughs> thrift shop. It's my thrift shop, yeah. So as right. all thrift shops do, I have a donation bin. Mm-hmm. 
because it's not just for like because I know some people oh somebody put a torch there uh, it's not just for like using because some people only use mob drop armor right so right. there's that but then there's also just for repairs which is why I have like the anvils and stuff in there too because sometimes you know you want to repair a bow say and you don't have any string you can come in I get a cheap see. little used bow and use that to repair so for in-store use only yes that's, that's good it's always good to have such instructions <laughs> the anvils are not for sale yeah <laughs> So, and then we've got, what, like, Fabe's Clay Factory? Okay. I saw that Vaughn has apparently dug up a bit of clay because we had a bit of that back home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is this? I love the fish on this building. Code's Bone and Tackle Shop. Oh, it's a fish. It's an awesome fish. I only, it it is, like, now that I look at it, it's pretty cool. I had (laughs) only glanced at it as I was coming by earlier today. And it looked like kind of like, I don't know, a meteor like flying into the earth oh. or something was like the first thing that I saw. We know where and your brain is. And I was just, you know, running down the road and just kind of looking to the left and looking to the right. And so like, I didn't think about it anymore and I didn't read any of the signs. Mm-hmm. And, ah, uh, okay. So that I think he's trading, you, tr- you, you trade him fish and you get bones in return, I think. Is, I love the little yep. pool here, too. Yes, I, I did kind of take a peek at that. Um, <laughs> I want one of those in my house. <laughs> So what else we got? More houses. I think Wind's house is being fumigated. I'm not sure. Hmm. Um, Ice's potato stand and meth shop. <laughs> and I believe I believe some of the horse stalls are now free. So ADGs. Uh, these are all ADGs horse stalls. You can barter for one of those. Oh, Ice would like to sleep again. Oh, sleeping um. again. Let's really? see, I, I have a bed on me that I could drop off somewhere. <laughs> Possibly we could find a bed in someone's house. Okay. Does anyone have a flower shop yet? Not yet. Uh, flower or dye, I don't think anyone has either. I see, because I was originally thinking about possibly making a flower shop. Yeah, nobody has that yet, as far as I know. I don't know what Ice is building, but right. yeah, here's Adul gets horse paraphernalia. This is Drew's potato shop. Of course. Yes. And then this is Cherry's clock shop, which is not open yet. I want to buy a clock. What is this? They're fabulous ah. clocks. Yeah, fabulous. Is it a collaboration? <laughs> no, at first. Fabe changing the sign. I don't know. I don't know. She read the All sign right. that way, so she knows that. Oh. oh, sorry. I looked at the sign. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Excuse me. All right. Yeah. So just over this way, um, which is still relatively close to spawn, but I always come over right. here to fish in my I little... Remember, yeah, you had like a fishing shack. Yeah, my little fishing shack. And then I run over around the corner of the coast here, and that's where I do all of my hunting at night. I see. Great. And I usually kill a couple Endermen, but it's not night anymore, so I don't know... Well, we got a little time. I need to do a little building to set up and can possibly start to inform you about the details of this Ooh. experiment. Okay, well, there's a there's a bit of a plains over here, so we can right, just set it up great. there. Yeah. Nice flat area. It's always nice to be able to see a bit kind of across the horizon to try to find some Endermen. Mm -hmm. And let's see. So the experiment is going to involve Endermen. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to involve something else uh, that I enjoy in Minecraft. That's pretty fun. And yeah, let's see. I like doing, yeah, lots of different science experiments to learn different Minecraft physics and things. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of one of my, I don't know, most fun things to do. Uh, I want to make kind of like a little glassed in room, you know, just like a tiny room to stand in. I didn't bring a door along. Do you, did you have, have some? wood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you don't mind making a door and all right, then I think I want to do like this, put the door kind of right here like get into this little room and then let's see I'll still want to do this so basically um Enderman Mm -hmm. I I especially like the mobs in the game that have kind of special properties and so of course in the case of uh, silverfish they can get into blocks Enderman have the ability to pick up certain blocks and actually, let's not do that. Let's. Yeah, I do think this is going to have to be taller, though. So let's go. Let's do this. And another thing that I like uh, is anvils, because they are relatively unique in the game from the point of view of being there aren't many blocks that. Uh, 
I guess not quite unique, but like there aren't many blocks that obey gravity. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, furthermore, like when an anvil falls in your head, like a piece of sand falls in your head and it's just like one, like, you know, it like hits you in the feet and you can kind of like jump up out of it. Like you need a whole stack of sand to kind of kill you. Mm-hmm. Um, but anvils, like you drop an anvil on somebody's head uh, and they'll actually take damage based on how far the anvil falls. And there's even a death message involving an anvil that I don't remember exactly what it is. But it's great. <laughs> That's right. Code and actually killed Drew with an anvil the other day. It was nice. Pretty, it was amazing. I thought I saw something about that in the chat. Yeah. Um, he didn't actually get it on camera, though, so. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> All right, I didn't have as much glass as I thought I was going to have. That's okay. We can smelt more if you need it. Uh, this will probably be good. And so I guess just to have kind of an easier way up and down here, if you wouldn't mind right below me digging a little hole in the ground, I'm going to drop down a water bucket, and I would like it not to spread out everywhere. And so if there's a hole in the ground that it could fall into, that would be terrific. So it Oh, just does it matter exactly where? Uh, I don't think it matters, because I think this will just flow down into the hole, even if it's not in exactly the right spot. There we go. Yep. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Great. And, yeah, so the thing I wanted to know is basically, like you just said, you know, you can have players drop an anvil on the head of another player. Mm -hmm. uh, what I wanted to know is if an Enderman can drop an anvil on the head of another player and if there's any special death message. Ooh. <laughs> That is intriguing. Okay, so where should I put this chest, speaking of? Uh, uh, I don't know. Anywhere that's convenient that'll be reasonably safe. Yeah, um, that's my thing. Is put like... it, if you want to put it actually like maybe up on top of here, that might yeah, be good. Although I was trying, to, I was trying to make someone. this out of glass mm -hmm. so that anyone mm -hmm. who was casually waiting down here would be able to kind of look up and mm -hmm. see the festivities. Uh, but basically the idea is I'm going to put some dirt uh, kind of above my head where you normally have an enderman blocker mm -hmm. and put an anvil down on top of the dirt and uh, then see if the enderman will pick up the piece of dirt and cause the anvil to fall uh, and try to kill a player. <laughs> In this case, the lovely and talented Fedrin, my assistant. Yay! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just, I'm just i more just concerned about uh, creepers blowing up the chest. So right, yeah. uh, I'm going to so, put it up in like this tree over here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like then, somewhere up and out of the way sounds like a creeper. Yeah, thing. yeah. It's away from us. We're not going to accidentally explode it. Should be safe. And yeah, and for the purposes of this experiment, it might also be useful for you to... Remove uh, armor? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I am... I'm one step ahead of you here. It's it's all good. Undressing for the cause. All right. All right. And I think. Do you think anyone will mind if I take down some of these sunflowers? They're no, kind of tall. no, no. It's fine. Yeah. We can take down the grass too. I'm always in here punching things, so I'm I'm frequently removing grass and sunflowers just unintentionally. Yep. <laughs> this will probably save my life someday. Hello, chicken. Out. There are too many chickens on the server, and now you are dead. <laughs> I did it because I knew that someone else wouldn't. Wouldn't be able to. That's right. Yeah. For those who don't know, do you want to describe your particular um, constraints in Minecraft life? Uh, basically. How you choose to play? Yeah, I, I'm not. It's hard. It's kind of somewhere between like vegetarian and vegan. I'm not eating any animal products in the game, and I'm not killing passive animals. But I am using um, animal products if I trade with other people. For example feathers and arrows and item frames and stuff like that so mm -hmm. so basically anything that comes from a passive animal drop i need to trade with people for and the chicken zombie thing is a whole i don't know what to do about that but <laughs> <laughs> i still have never seen one in game have you? oh they are so fast i actually got attacked by one in the plains here the other day and it was crazy like, you thought baby zombies are fast? These are mm -hmm. ridiculous. Like, really, really, I have to run into the water to get away because they're so fast. I see. All right. Well, perhaps we'll end up seeing one of those as well, and that'll be exciting for me. But in any case, I think it would be good to set our spawns, even though we're not going to sleep away the oh, night. Yes. And so that's the reason that I brought oh, the bed. Okay, yeah, yeah. And Makes so sense. in terms of a good place to do that, actually, if I'm going to place some blocks just up here mm -hmm. in the treetop and we'll add a little bit of light and... That could be a good. Bed spot. Just got to remember to reset our spawns later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh -oh. Such is the nature of such science experimentation. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna hop, be good and plenty oh, fine. Hop in. I'm gonna hop in another night. torch right here. So shall we tell Ice that we're not gonna be sleeping this night away? Oh, that's a good idea. Do you mind typing that in the chat? Uh, Since we've just slept away the previous mm -hmm. couple of nights, mm -hmm. don't want anyone to get the wrong expectations. I even brought my fishing rod. I should be fishing right now. I'll go break some grass instead. <laughs> Stop uh, thinking about fishing. There we go. Good, good, all good. Right. And so I guess I should also, let me go up here and actually set up. But basically my idea is that I am going to do, 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 do. Put a couple of, and actually I'm gonna need to stand up here. I should have gotten a second anvil. That would have been smart. Do I have enough? I have 23 iron on me. I don't suppose you have iron on you, but I do can. have some actually. I have 18. Oh, terrific. We could make a second anvil. Uh, let me, oops, take a nice amount of fall damage. <laughs> In the hurry I am to rush over. And I am going to. All right, uh, I have slept in the bed. All right, that is good. And there's your iron. I will quickly sleep in the bed as well. Leave bed. Ah! Great. Ah! <laughs> We're inside each other. Yep. Gonna make a second anvil. Great. Oops. Dropping the iron on the ground. And yeah, basically, I'm gonna stand up top. You can stand somewhere inside the glass room. Okay, I'm just coming and... close while we're over here so that we don't yep. limit spawns too much. Well, I think it'll be another minute before the sun goes down enough that we'll see much on the surface. And hopefully... Which side am I supposed to be on? Uh, I don't think it's going to matter because I'm going to have an anvil on both sides oh, now. Oh, okay, And so okay. if an enderman manages to pick up either of the two blocks, yeah. I believe an anvil will fall down there. Hello! Wave to the camera, Fedrin! Hi! <laughs> and you can put torches on glass now, can't you? Yeah, so I'm actually going to do that as well and yeah if i can get an enderman up here uh hopefully i can i should get a few more do i can teleport up. onto glass i don't know that's a fantastic question that i didn't even think of and so i will add these dirt blocks not only to make it less likely that i will fall to my death during the process of this experiment <laughs> uh, but also so that the enderman possibly have some blocks that they can teleport onto and then hopefully I can manage to like run over here behind this. And it's often the case that when I've run behind these structures to kill Endermen and when I've made them out of dirt before, mm -hmm. if the Endermen are not already carrying a block, they have a tendency to pick up this block just Ooh. because it's in their nature, but it also gives them a chance to like get closer to you. And if they pick up one of these blocks, then mm -hmm. the forces of gravity will act upon the anvil, pulling it downward <laughs> right onto the head of our lovely assistant. Right onto my face. <laughs> Who unexpectedly is willing to die for the cause of science. Science, of course. <laughs> uh, you've uh, thought this through, though, haven't you? I have. I actually, I thought of this on my plane ride home for Christmas uh, when I was headed home. Because, like, the server opened on, it's like the 21st, I think. And I was leaving on the 23rd. Mm-hmm. Uh, to go home for like two and a half weeks over Christmas. And so I was flying home and I actually, usually I'm very good at sleeping on planes uh, when I have overnight flights mm -hmm. and I wasn't getting any sleep. And so I was just kind of like thinking about Minecraft and thinking about different things I could do. And especially being on Red Cube now, things that I could do in multiplayer that would be fun. And yeah, I came up with this idea because it's something I've seen players kill other players with an anvil but I've never seen a mob kill a player with an anvil, and so this seemed like an awesome opportunity to learn. Yeah, to learn. Science, right? For science. So it's been pretty dark, and I have not seen a single I have not mob. Seen, have you? No, and usually, trust me when I say, I can get like 20 levels a night over here. Right, and so I'm guessing ice is possibly somewhere, like our mob farms, I don't think they're still uh, allowed yet, are they? No, we don't. We have a slime farm, but that's it. Okay. I could run around and I don't know. Maybe we're on peaceful. <laughs> no, wait, I heard a zombie earlier. We're not yeah, on peaceful. Yeah, that's right. I heard it too. Yeah. And so I'm just worried if somehow there's still are like a cluster of non despawning zombies somewhere that are in the chunks of spawn or in the chunks of where ice is. That's definitely possible. Uh, 
zero mobs out here at night. We definitely, all the people on the server, like we've been having conversations in our little Skype chat that we've encountered some lag at spawn that we thought was due to a number of different causes, causes potentially, and we were going to move. There's a lot of farm animals at spawn. Mm -hmm. We were going to move them out into like a big community farm that's like outside of spawn. But it appears, oh, I, see oh, a zombie. I, get, I just saw a couple mobs spawn. Zombie, so a spider, late. a creeper. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely mobs. Yep. Yes, okay. They seem so late, now though. spawning. Okay. We're good. All right, I don't see any Endermen yet. Yet. So are you going to try to aggro the Endermen? Yeah, I'm going to aggro the Endermen. Hopefully he'll teleport up here with me. Mm -hmm. And then if I can just run around and get him kind of behind these bricks, hopefully he will grab one of them. And then the science will happen. Okay, all right. <laughs> and... In the meantime, while we wait, I've recently been watching something that's been happening on your channel. Oh, uh, yes. That is always an exciting event. Do you want to tell people about that? I'm assuming you mean UHC? That is correct. Yes. Uh, oh, my goodness, UHC. I always have such a, like, it makes me, like, sick to my stomach. I get so stressed <laughs> out with UHC, but it's always fun. And actually, this time I was paired with Jake, which I had my, I had my doubts. I wasn't sure how that was all going to work out, especially just because a lot of people try to kill him regardless. So. Right. But actually, so far, we seem to be working together really well in uh, the aired episodes. I'm not sure. Yeah, for a long time. Well, I don't know how many spoilers I want to give, but <laughs> you, guys, you guys seem to be ahead, is what yeah. I will say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're, we're doing okay. We're not doing too bad on health and everything. And there's definitely some surprises. Even I was kind of like, whoa, like, <laughs> and I'm trolling Jake, which is always great. So, yes, that was, that was a hilarious moment. I think that was in like episode two or three. Mm-hmm. I think it's probably yeah. episode three, and yeah, I really got a kick out of that, and a number of others <laughs> did too, so that was good. Since uh, I have all these arrows, I'm trying to like kill off a few of the mobs that are kind of within oh, yeah, yeah, arrow yeah. distance of me in order to try to get some fresh mobs on the scene. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. So yeah, there's definitely a fair number of guys who are just kind of standing still. Oh, I see an Enderman. Oh, you do? Which way? Oh, yep, uh, I see him too. Oh, he's already got a block. All right, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get him up here to practice this anyway. He's making the noise, but oh, no, he's trying to teleport up here, I think. He's, he's definitely making the noise. All right, I'm running around in circles. We're going to oh, see. Oh, 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 oh did he get you? Whoa, whoa, oh, no. Oh, no. I oh, did they break help. down the door? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, or did a zombie, yeah, zombie get looked at and like spawned another zombie inside the house <gasps> next to you? <gasps> we did unintentional science. The door oh, is still standing. Science. Okay, wow. I can't... All right, I'm going to come down and try to help. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. He spawned inside. Oh, there's two He's carrying too. a potato. Yeah, I had potatoes. Okay. Wow. I didn't want to die of hunger while I was in there. Right. Um, wow. That never occurred to me. That was just a little two by two house that you were inside. Mm hmm. Yeah, I All didn't. Right. That didn't occur to me either. I guess if we put a uh, torch down that would stop that i guess yeah i don't actually know in terms of the zombies who spawn when they call for help oh, um, i've had them spawn in front of me before even if i'm just like in if i'm in the darkness they'll right. spawn in front of me i just didn't even think of that either yeah i didn't either there's and a so, lot of zombies this is one of the this I'm is scared. one of the miracles of the scientific method sometimes you get unintentional interesting results oh there's a baby zombie the baby zombie yikes yikes, yikes. and i'm not used to fighting them on servers they're more difficult <laughs> Oh, lag. Please don't kill me. The yeah. Enderman's still walking around with uh, his stupid block. Yeah. Crazy yeah. yeah. I'm eating zombie flesh. I have steak. I should be eating that. Uh, creeper, do not blow up our stuff. Uh, yeah, there's two, two Endermen. Um, should I get my sword and kill that guy? Or? Uh, we're about to run out of nighttime, and so I don't know that it's going to matter tonight. I think we'll have to come back and revisit this. Sorry about that. I will also <laughs> have some dirt blocks. Yeah, grab your sword. We'll have a little bit of cleaning up to do, and I guess we will possibly cut to try oh, this again tomorrow yeah, night. To to tomorrow night. It might be a little too exciting. Oh, I see the zombies going after you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh, my heart nav. Oh, no. Oh, I've got a heart. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Well, well. Sun's well. about to come out and rescue most of us. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. No! Oh. All the zombies are coming after me now. Oh, and they're going to start picking up my stuff. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, they're going to be well-armed zombies. 
All right, don't break the bed. Nope. Just I'm running some through dudes. a bunch of my stuff. I am throwing on some armor. I did not pick up a sword. Probably a zombie's already picked up the sword. There's a little bit more stuff over here. Most of the zombies are going to burn. Mm, oh my god, you have a huge horde of zombies on you, just so you know. That's yep. a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of guys. A huge horde of zombies who are about to die! Oh, I've got an axe. That's a good weapon. Hey, creeper. Meet the axe. Oh! There's another creeper somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yikes. <laughs> ah. This was more of an adventure than I was expecting. We're having all sorts of science happen. <laughs> Unintentionally. That's right. Oh, I'm on fire! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Come here, zombies! Come here! I have not fought a ton of mobs in multiplayer, especially recently. And I don't have much... I've got a pretty good connection to the server, but just a little bit of latency goes a long way. Mm-hmm terms of a lot of mob interactions. Especially with a bunch of zombies spawning more zombies. That's true. Alright, this guy is not going to despawn. But he is going to fall in a hole. Alright, you are dead. You dropped a bunch of items. I saw an item over here. There's some more armor. Great. This guy fell in a hole down here. Alright, he's pathfinding a way back up, so there's going to be a gold armored zombie somewhere. All right, I'll and open then this door for I this guy. He died over here. Give me my potatoes. Oh no, don't kill me. Oh no. All right, here comes the zombie again. You should be almost dead at this point, yes. Oh, he dropped some gold armor that I can give to you. Nice. Come here. Protection three. Yeah, they, yeah. Especially if we stay in the same place too, they'll get oh, right. even better armor. That's another thing. I'm not used to playing on a server where everyone's been in the same chunks mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm.